This week, we'll hear from the Counseling Connection about time wasters. The Media Center sets their sights on spooky seasons and much more. Roll intro. This is the Chatter Newscast, coming to you from Rochester High School in Braidwood, Illinois. Welcome back to another episode of the Chatter Newscast. We're here to fill you in on what's going on at Reed Custer High School for the week of September 26th. Let's get started with the headlines. All character education meetings have been canceled for this month. We will resume character education in October with the theme of respect. The ICE Conference Librarian and Counselor meetings will take place on Tuesday, September 27th, so the Media Center and Guidance will be closed on Tuesday. The RCHS teachers will have their monthly meeting on Wednesday, September 28th. Now let's send it over to the Counseling Connections. Hi, I'm Tori. And I'm Gabby. And we have all the latest news from the Counseling Connections. There's a fine line between helpful and winding between periods of intensive study and wasting precious hours on attention in ways that are not recharging your batteries. Pay attention to how much time you're spending on social media, on video games, binging on shows, or whatever your guilty pleasures may be. Staying connected to friends is vital, but make it quality time that leaves you clear-headed and rested. One helpful tactic is to set aside specific times a day to check your phone and adhering strictly to that schedule when studying. The cool career of the week is a landscape architect. They touch the design of outdoor public spaces, landmarks, and structures. The goal is to achieve environmental, social, and aesthetically pleasing spaces by investigating existing social, ecological, and geological conditions in the landscape. To become a landscape architect, you would need at least a bachelor's degree in landscape architecture. Their national average salary is $65,000 to $120,000 per year. That's all the connections we have for you this week. Now let's send it over to Comet Sports. See you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Comet Sports. Sports. Hi, I am Jamin and let's talk Comet football. On Monday, September 26th, the freshman team will host Plainfield East for a 5.30 p.m. game. On Friday, September 30th, the JV and Varsity Comets will host the Wilmington Wildcats. The JV game kicks off at 5 p.m. This is the weekly update on the Comet golf team. The Comets will face off against Bradley Bourbonnet at the Kankakee Elks Golf Course at 4.15 p.m. Next, the boys golf team will be competing in the IHSA Watsika Regional at the Turtle Beach Club in Watsika. The girls golf team will be competing in the Seneca Regional at the Creek in Morris, which will start at 9 a.m. on Thursday, September 29th. My name is Joey Lingham, and let's kick into soccer. We will have four games this week, starting with an away game against Rich Township on Monday, September 26th at 4.30 p.m. Next, the boys will host Streeter on Tuesday, September 27th at 6 p.m. The boys will then travel to Cole City for a match on Thursday, September 29th at 4.30 p.m. And lastly, the boys will face off against Fisher High School on Saturday, October 1st at 10 a.m. This Monday, the girls' volleyball team hosts Pontiac. The freshmen will play in the Fieldhouse at 5. The sophomores will also start at 5 in the high school gym. The varsity game will immediately follow the sophomore game. This Tuesday, the girls' volleyball team hosts Hersher. The freshmen will play in the Fieldhouse at 5. The sophomores will also start at 5 in the high school gym. The varsity game will immediately follow the sophomore game. On Thursday, the girls' volleyball team travels to Mantino. The freshmen will play at 5. The sophomores will also start at 5 in the high school gymnasium. The varsity game will immediately follow the sophomore game. Let's go, Comet! Hi, I'm Katie, and here's this week's Media Center news. It's spooky season. Be sure to check out some fantastic reads in the Library Media Center. Miss Can has a selection of books that are sure to make your skin crawl. Check them out on the display near the entrance of the library. Looking for a new release? Miss Can added a new release section for books that are hot off the press and onto our library shelves. Check them out today under the new release sign. 
Did you know that reading and writing go hand in hand? By reading good writing, you notice their writing style, fluidity, cadence, and more. If you ever wondered why high school teachers make students read the classics, now you know why. By reading good writing, they can also absorb good work and use it in their own writing. That's all for this week. Keep reading. Hi, I'm Joey, and here's this week's lunch menu. On Monday, September 26, we will be having stromboli, veggies, fruit, and milk. On Tuesday, September 27th, we will be having chicken patties, potatoes, veggies, fruit, and milk. On Wednesday, September 28th, we will be having spaghetti, breadsticks, veggies, fruit, and milk. On Thursday, September 29th, we will be having hot dogs, baked beans, fruit, and milk. On Friday, September 30th, we will be having pizza, veggies, fruit, and milk. Here's your healthy tip of the week. Keep water handy. Water is a better option than most drink choices. Keep a reusable water bottle in your bag and skip the sugary sodas, fruit drinks, and energy and sport drinks. Stay healthy, Comets. Hi, I'm Jaina. And I'm Abby. And we're here this week to give you the latest updates on all the clubs and activities. Let's start with the art club. There will be an art club meeting on Friday, September 30th to finish up your watercolor bubble art project. You do not need to be currently enrolled in an art class to attend. Recycle, reduce, and reuse at Recycling Club at the meeting on Thursday, September 29th at 3 p.m. The Madrigals will be singing the national anthem at the home football game versus Wilmington on Friday, September 30th. The Bass Fishing Team will be competing in a tournament on Fox Chain Lakes on Sunday, October 2nd. The book club will be voting on a book at the next meeting. It's not too late to join. Just let Miss Can know by September 28th. That's all for this week. Keep, Keep on clubbing, Comets! Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast. We'll be back next week with even more information. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Before we go, here's your inspirational quote for the week. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Keep fighting for your dreams. Gabby Douglas. See you next week. week.